Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. Neville's heading for the broken bridge. I must stop him. Neville was speeding through the countryside as fast as he could. Suddenly, Neville saw a barrier on the track. He slammed on his brakes. But it was too late. Neville was in terrible trouble. He was on the broken end of the bridge. Next morning, as James was being repainted, Henry had an accident. If you can't push cars properly, Henry, why not talk to a tree instead? You know how much you like the forest. Then there was trouble. Gordon was roaring towards Percy. Out of my way! Express coming through! Out of my way! Mail coming through! But Gordon didn't get out of Percy's way. Suddenly, Percy was worried. Oh my! Oh no! Oh help! Whoa! Whoa! Gordon swerved and swayed into a siding. He bashed the buffers and toppled off the tracks. Percy felt terrible. Now, he didn't feel bold at all. He felt very silly. He was still cross when they reached the top station. Sir Handel was hoping for a rest, but his driver thought otherwise. We'll leave the coaches now and fetch some cars from the quarry. Cars, snorted Sir Handel. Cars, I won't. So there. Sir Handel was about to cause a great deal of trouble. Told you, said Sir Handel. He came over the top of a big hill. You can't catch us, laughed the troublesome trucks. <laughs> but there was trouble ahead. Doc had stopped at the crossing at the bottom of the hill. Off his driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. Squashed fruit flew everywhere. Arthur was upset. His spotless record was ruined. 